Welcome to the second episode in this online safety series. Today we are continuing from our previous video where we started talking about online safety. We will be talking about the oversharer today. We're going to talk about three things to keep in mind before sharing anything online. The first is to ask, why am I sharing this? Secondly, you want to ask, who am I sharing this with? And lastly, you want to ask, how will this affect me or other people involved? Now, let's jump right in and talk about what it means to be an oversharer online. By the way, did you know that there are over 1.37 billion internet users online? The oversharer shares way too much information about themselves, their friends and their family online. And this can compromise it. Security and be dangerous. Because once you hit send and you share online, it can go to the entire world. When it comes to being a responsible digital citizen, a big part of this is doing what you can share and what you should not share online. Let's start by watching this short video about sharing online and seeing how far a single video or comment can go. So let's talk about how to decide what to share online. Now, one of the things you can do is to control who sees what you share online. The way you can control who sees what you share is to start with your settings. All social media platforms allow you to control your settings so that you decide who sees what you share online. For example, Setting your account to be in a private or public account will determine who sees the things you share online. You could decide that some things are okay for everyone to see and some are only for your friends and your family. Now let's talk about a practical example. If you're having a birthday party at your house, you would only invite people you know, such as your friends and family. You would not share this information with everyone on the internet, right? Now, let's go through some scenarios and discuss them. Let's see if we can agree on whether some of the following examples are okay to share online or not. Now, is it okay to share your home address online for everyone to see? That's not okay. Is it okay to share a mean message or comment about someone online? It's not okay. What about sharing news that you see online? It's okay, but only if it is true and it is verified. You don't want to be sharing fake news. What about sharing a picture of your child in front of their school? It's not okay. Now, what about sharing a photo of your friend sleeping online? That is also not okay. Now, let us talk about what happens when you share things online and how this forms your online reputation. Like a footprint that's formed when you walk in the sand, 
It's the same way with your digital footprint. This is everything that's shared about you online and what you share about yourself online. Once something is shared online, it stays online forever. Why don't we discuss some myths about what children believe about online? They think that if they don't share certain things with their parents online, then they won't see it. However, this is not accurate because once something is online, anyone can copy it by taking a screenshot and sharing that. Another myth is that once you delete a piece of information you shared online, it is gone. Now, this is not accurate because it can be stored in the cloud and it is still accessible. Plus, all it takes is one second while it was shared online for anyone to have seen it, to have seen the post, to copy it, to share it, or to save it. So remember, to be internet awesome, our online safety is number one priority. So before we share anything online, we all need to pause and think about what we are sharing online. Because remember, once it is shared online, anybody can see it. So remember the three things to ask yourself before you share anything online. First, why am I sharing this? Ask yourself that. Secondly, ask yourself who are you sharing this with? And lastly, you want to ask how will this affect me or other people involved? We can use the internet for good to connect with others and to share relevant information with many people online. Thank you for tuning in to the second episode in the online safety series with Lagos Moms, supported by Grow with Google. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And tune in again next time. And again, my name is Yeti Williams, parenting coach and founder, Lagos Moms.